Let's write the empirical formula for acetylene. Acetylene is also called ethyme. In this video, we'll also look at the molecular formula and the structural formula. So let's take a look at the molecular formula first. That's the number and type of each atom. So that gives us some valuable information about the molecule. For ethyne, the molecular formula is C2H2. That means we have two carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms. It's a two to two ratio. The molecular formula does give us some information about the number and type of each atom. It doesn't really tell us the structure. For that, we'll need the structural formula for acetylene. That looks like this here. Again, we have two carbons and two hydrogens, but now we can see there's a triple bond that bonds these carbon atoms together here. So the structural formula is useful in that way. Finally, the empirical formula. When we're talking about the empirical formula, we're talking about the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms in the molecule. So here in the molecular formula, it's a two to two ratio, but we can reduce that down further. We could write this as a one to one ratio as well. And this is as low as we can reduce it. So this is the empirical formula for acetylene, also called ethyne. We usually don't write the ones though. So all the empirical formula is telling us is just the ratio of carbon to hydrogen atoms. That's a one to one ratio. This is Dr. B with the molecular formula, structural formula, and the empirical formula for acetylene. Thanks for watching.